This month, there are many issues I would like to cover, such as the Great Salt Lake drying up and the Balkan River covered by a large section of trash. smaller. This amazing lake is drying up and is now on the verge of ecological collapse. If the lake keeps drying up at the same pace it is going now, the lake will disappear within five years. However, this is not the main problem. The volume of this lake has dropped two-thirds since it was found, and because the water is evaporating but the salt remains, many of the animals that live in the base of this lake have been dying because of the salt levels. Furthermore, over 300 species of animals rely on this lake to survive. This is because of the brine shrimp that lives on the bottom of this lake is a food source for most of these animals. The food web is now collapsing, and the future does not look very bright for the Great Salt Lake. Additionally, because of the low water level of this lake, multiple problems arise. One is that the now exposed dust from the lake has unhealthy minerals, which blow into other lakes that people use as water sources. It also affects the quality of the air, as well as making it unhealthy to breathe. Thankfully, lawmakers have been working hard to pass laws to help protect this amazing lake, and have been successful in doing so. Now, we'll have to wait and see what the end result will be. Our second story is about the Balkan River being completely covered in trash. This river is currently covered in about 350,000 cubic feet of garbage. This river was part of the first amazing view and perfect fishing spots. So, what led to this river filling up with trash? Well, the main problem was that the river is near many unauthorized waste dumps, which end up in the river after rainfall. However, even after the rain began to subside, the inflow of garbage into the river has not been stopped. This is not the first time this happened, and last time, to clean up the floating garbage dump, it took six months. From what I hope, this video has inspired you to help the environment, and if you're wondering how to help it, here are some simple ways you can do it. Pick up trash if you see it on the ground, because this trash might end up in oceans and hurt the animals living in it. And when you have projects, try to save as much paper as possible. Every sheet of paper counts. This has been an Audrey for Care Environmental News Report. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing month. See you in February.